I was at Hobby Lobby and I found this cute, let me make sure this is Hobby Lobby. Uh, yes, this is Hobby Lobby. I had to check the tag. It's, it's kind of an oversized, one of those chopping boards. And those of you who are into doing the stencils and doing your own words or cutting out these words on your, your uh, crickets and all that fun stuff, you could make this on your own. Um, but I just bought this made just like this. Hey, Trudy. Hi, Deborah. Good to see you. I bought it made. I picked it out with this beautiful blue. And I thought, you know, this will make a fun piece that someone could hang in their home. They could hang it on their door, but it would be a nice piece that also could sit because it's a heavy board. They could put it on an easel and sit. And so I'm going to show you how to just kind of upcycle this into something a little jazzier. And our pro, um, supplies we're going to use today is I'm in love with this ribbon. We use this ribbon for a, just this killer swag we did in design school. And we're going to use it on here. It has some neutral tones. It's got different blues. It's just going to pick up this pretty blue in the background. And the coolest thing, it's reversible. So the check is on the background, which is going to be just fun. So to pull out the colors from this, that's going to be our main statement piece we're going to be adding to the board. We're going to use a... Um, a fishtail fern, which is just a great filler. It's very muted. We'll be using that for our greenery. And then we have these little boho rose clusters, which just have that touch of pink. But look, they have the same color tones that have the browns in here. And they're going to go good with the check on the back. So that's like a, uh, a just a great little, um, a great little addition to, to do. Hey, Terry, great. Awesome. Well, you're going to see exactly how to make it even more beautiful. Hey, Vicki, isn't this going to be great? We're going to have so fun. So the board, the ribbon, one greenery, one floral. Okay. We're going to keep it super easy and simple. So I like to make these kind of things. If you've got a craft show and a lot of people have craft shows this weekend, if you got a craft show this weekend, you need some projects to whip out quick. This is a great one to do. Okay. So I'm going to put the board to the side for a second. We're going to start off with our bow. So I'm going to grab our bow maker. This will be just a quick and easy and, um, we don't, you don't have to overthink this one. I am going to be doing, um, let's go in here. I think I'm going to make the tail just a little bit uh, shorter at about seven inches. Come on in and pleat that up. Put it right in the middle of our bow maker and twist. So that'll be one tail. I did go ahead and just turn that edge over. Hi, Jeannie. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Bonnie. You guys that are coming on, great to see you. If you're watching later on the replay, definitely let us know. I'm going to go smaller. I'm going about five here. Keep that nice and loopy to the five. Okay. Just like we normally would do. We're going little because I don't want to overtake this whole um, design with too big of a bow. Oh my gosh. I love the reversible ribbon. Isn't that fun? Okay. And let's do two loops. I know. Surprise. I'm glad. I'm glad. See, that's why you want to be on the text list. You never know when we're going to be live. We'll text you out whenever. I'm live so you don't miss a beat because now we've got more help at the warehouse. I'm able to be live more with you. And I'm just so excited by that because literally my brain never shuts off guys. I have ideas for days, ideas that just keep on coming. I don't want you to miss any of them. And so I'm going to, I'm going to share them with you as much as possible. So I'll just curl under that tail. And so I've just got two loops, two tails. So simple, easy. Okay. All right, let's come in with our cable tie. We're just going to use one basic cable tie to take this off. And I'm going to put a finger on the top and just bring it on up. Yay! Yeah, you guys, we'll have the supply list. I'll have a clickable link even for the items from Hobby Lobby. So you can just grab them if they have them available online. We'll have that available for you. And you can grab um, the florals, the greenery, the ribbon, everything. Look how fun that is, double-sided. Oh, yes! All right, let's get this tail going up, that tail going down, because I want that kind of flow going for that bow. Now, the next thing we have to do is add a floral pin to the back before we get this too tight. All right. Oh, let's see. Vicki says, I got a notification that the items I ordered in last week's live sale have already shipped. Yay, Vicki. Nice. Yeah, the board is from Hobby Lobby. So if you're just getting here, I'm going to show you the board in a second, okay? We're using the board kind of like a wreath base. So it's a little bit different today um, rather than making it on a regular reef base. You're going to see in a second. All right. Hey, Linda. Good to see you. All right. Let's turn this around. Simple little bow. Two loops on each side, five inches. 
and, and that lets me see the beautiful reversible nice nice in there and that's going to go off to the side now i had a strip from a previous bow i made so i'm going to i'm going to not do the check i could do the check but i'm going to keep the blue on the outside since that board is blue so i'm going to take just fold that over and we'll just run that down the center and run it through that floral pin too and we'll cover up the mechanics of all of our goodies all right looks nice and finished all right here we go give it a nice twist and i'm gonna cut this and this off okay this check is brown it's brown and white it's not your traditional black and white it might look black on the um video but it's actually brown and white and a beautiful blue okay grab your board back so here's our fun little board that we're bringing back out and um we are going to start off by putting a little floral foam at the top okay that's how we're going to anchor the whole project together all right let's grab that piece of foam i had let me just i'm going to this is wood so it should do fine but i'm also going to put a little gorilla glue just to be safe yay you use the white orchids nice linda oh beautiful in a patriotic wreath. what a great idea what a great idea to do that you love that ribbon i know when we play with the fancy ribbon it's dangerous oh my gosh you were planning on working it tonight well perfect well hopefully some of these colors will give you some great ideas let me turn this glue pot down y'all i cranked it up because i uh i was like i forgot to turn it on now, with these boards, uh, you got to think about the weight because we don't want to, to, to tip it too much one direction or the other. So I'm going to put that right in the center. And now I'm looking for my Spanish moss, which I moved. So I'm going to take my Spanish moss and I'm going to go ahead and trim it on up. I shouldn't be too long if you want me to wait. Are you going? Richard's going to pick up Kaya. Go ahead. Go pick her up. I'll see you when you get back. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go around here with uh, the Spanish moss, y'all. First world problems. Who's picking up the kiddo? I tried to go in there and talk to him a minute ago, and he was on a call, so he couldn't talk to me. But I was telling him, I'll do this quick, and I'll still get her. Secretly, I wanted to hit, I wanted to hit home goods on the way back, you know? That's okay. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hey, Jeanette. Hi, Vince. Good to see you. Good afternoon, everybody. So right here, I'm hitting the glue that just over fell over the edge. And I like to do that so that way it's all, um, I don't even have to add more glue when I get ready to put that on. Thanks, Pat. Thanks for the love. I appreciate it. Now, here's the bow we tied. And we talked a little bit earlier about why we picked out this combo, because it's just going to be a little perfect combo. So this will be going right here. And we'll put it on in a second. But let's get a little bit of greenery in first, just a couple of pieces. I like to kind of establish our perimeter and how far we want to go out from the back the back oh my gosh you had to get a new a glue pot trudy isn't that the case you know it happens they give out hello miss grace hi Jeanette. i'm so glad you caught me live too it's awesome so i love um this greenery this is our fishtail burn in the cream green it's a new color that we got designed and i love it because i can push it up and make these shorter okay which kind of helps me with my base Thank you, of course, Vince. Hey, Peggy. So now I'm going to bring these in and kind of shape this out. I like this to kind of curve around and just go super simple. Okay, you're not going to overthink this. I love how this is going to look really pretty coming over the, the, the base and kind of contrasting with the blue. Oh, I'm so Linda. I'm so glad you're here and you're hanging out with me. This is fantastic. I mean, I'm telling y'all, having help at the warehouse is going to change the amount of interaction we can have. I'm so excited because, like I said, I have so many projects that I'm so excited to share with you. And it's just like, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So it's pretty matchy-matchy. What you do on the left, you do on the right. We got a base started. Now we want to put the bow in. Okay. So remember, we added that um, pin to the back here. So there's a floral pin we put in the back of the bow where we normally would put the wire. Okay or the cable tie we put a pin and I, you've got to put glue on it you, no option okay got to put the blue on daddy are you gone honey bunny i am leaving okay love you go get the princess stop by grandma's to pick up the outfit she's 
got this, right? No, it's at the front. It's in my purse. Okay. Or in my car. All right. Uh, he, he's taking her phone, y'all. You know. Hi, Beth. What's the green? Uh, Chris, Christina, the green underneath. Hello, Christina. Good to see you. Long time no see. Um, this is fishtail fern, but we had it designed in a lighter color. So this is the cream green. We'll text out the entire supply list when we're done. Okay. So listen, that looks good already. Like, okay. Fill up your craft booth. Boom, boom, boom. Cute, cute, cute. Now we're going to put in this dusty rose in here. And um, that's going to be our little bit of pink. We're pulling out the pink. We're going to pull out the pink in the ribbon and have a little pop of that in there. So I'm going to take and cut some of this bush out. This is a new product for us, these boho roses, and I'm in love, love, love with them. Because they got this cool, um, they got a cool little rose, but then they have the fun little greenery and filler. So nice. So let's break those down uh, pretty short so we can pop those in. Nice, Linda. I love it. I know. Isn't it so satisfying when you get a co good combination? Thank you. Barbara, yeah, all our greenery is plastic. Every greenery we sell is plastic. I'm all about the plastic on the greenery. You know why it lasts so long? And they paint it so good now that um, it looks so nice. Oh, Kim, I'm not sure. 60919, whenever that comes in, I have no idea when it'll be here. But, you know, we'll share it with you. We'll tell you whatever we've got. Okay, we'll let you know when anything good arrives. Hey, everything that cuts here is good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Karen, rules are different. In this particular design, as you can see, we are working with more of what I would call symmetrical, okay? So some of the rules that we normally would use for floral design aren't going to apply because we have literally have a base We've got a midline coming right here. This is stuff I teach in design school. So we are going to be symmetrical on both sides. Okay? You are. You are. Isn't it cute? Kelly. Shh, shh, shh. We won't tell. Hey, Carol Ann. Good to see you. We're going to tell nobody. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know. We're not going to tell. Thank you, Sue. I really work hard to have stuff that's, uh, you know, I don't really carry a bunch of cheap things, but I carry things that really, I'm hoping that one bush can work like two bushes from somewhere else. And, and they're easier to work with when you get better quality stuff, just easier to work with in general. Okay, so you want to watch your details as you get up here closer to the bow, because that's what's going to be in people's face. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, so cute. Well, I mean, I do not know where the board was. We are going to text out the item number and all that. So you can just, if it has a link and, and Nicole can find it on, Ho on Hobby Lobby's website, we will literally have a link for you to order it, okay? We will get you straight. Oh, Beth, if you're in design school, that's stuff I teach in design school, okay? So every time we have a tutorial... I'm going to teach you all about that on each project we do. And it's project based. So when we do a project, I cover the principles of design we're covering in that project. And you guys, if you're wondering what design school is, you didn't get to join up this last time, it will be opening up again in the fall. So make sure you grab a spot on our wait list. Just go over to cleesdesignschool.com. You can um, get on the wait list right there. Hey, Mary Lou. I hope you're okay. I, I hope. If you were having surgery, you were okay. I don't know if you were performing surgery, assisting in surgery, or you were the patient. <laughs> I can't remember. So I'm really going in. I like these little filler flowers around the bow here. That's super cute. Okay, I love it. So I did just pick three sides of the bow to pop in here, y'all. Isn't that great? Yeah, Nicole's got y'all covered. She's got you covered. Let's put a little bit of rose down there. You do need to cut, up, clean up these cuts a little because you, when you're going in here, you want to make sure they're nice and clean. Okay, now, okay, that was easy, very easy. So we picked out the little bit of this brown, dusty rose, pink color, 
because that went really well with the blue. And we picked out this denim blue ribbon here, and then it's got the brown on the backside. So it's all neutral. Oh, Mary Lou, okay. I hope you are recovering well then. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna take these last three greeneries. We're gonna make them a little bit shorter. Hi, Trisha. Jody, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I am glad you're enjoying it. Sometimes these simple projects make you guys so excited. So um, I'm dividing each stem into two, pushing them up, because I want to use these up towards the base. So I don't want this longer piece anymore. I've got to have it shorter. So we're going to have to prep a little on this bush. That's OK. Prep it out. So we're going to divide each of these into two. So bring a couple down and leave a couple up. Easy peasy. Susan, I think we have the ribbon available. We did when the video started, but I don't know if there's any left. I do not know, but we will definitely let you know on the supply list, okay? All right, let's bring that up. And I'm just sectioning these out. So I get a little short guy here, and then I cut that nice and neat. And this is too long, I don't need it that long, so I'm just trimming it off on each piece. All right, so right now we've just got that greenery in the back, and I know I'm gonna want a little touch of this lighter greenery in the front. So literally, we're gonna bring that up to the front and slightly overlap a couple of these roses. Soften that a little bit. You are welcome. You're absolutely welcome. Y'all know, get on the text list, textclee.com. You can also text us at 832-734-5201. 832-734-5201. You can just text us the word live. You'll get live alerts, and you'll also get the supply list to text it directly to you for this project. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm going to layer these loops up a little bit. Let these tails be kind of curvy. Ooh, yes! Look at, lucky, 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 lucky at that. Oh my gosh, look at this board. Woo, mama! I bet you I saw this right away. This matches the swag we made in design school, y'all. So I'm going to merchandise those together. Let's put just a couple more in here. Just filling in right around the bow. Yeah, yes. Let's have one come down maybe right in here. All right, guys, we did it! Y'all, so super easy. What a cute combination. Really cute. And you can, you can just hang it up by the hanger that comes with the board and you are good to go.